Wi-Fi 6 is a term you're probably familiar with. It's been available in the latest Apple products like our iPhones, MacBooks, and iPads, as well as many other devices for the past few years. However, Wi-Fi 6 was just a stepping stone to what many were considering the true upgrade to home wireless networks, Wi-Fi 6E. Because unlike regular Wi-Fi 6, which still is limited to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz networks, Wi-Fi 6E opens up an entirely new spectrum of 6 gigahertz network, promising faster speeds, more bandwidth, and less congestion for this new wavelength being reserved for the newest 6E capable devices. However, most Wi-Fi 6 and 6E routers are prohibitively expensive, which is why when our sponsor TP-Link asked me to check out their new TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi Wi-Fi 6E, the first thing I was shocked about was the price. Because the TP-Link Deco XE75 retails for just $299. And it's not just one Wi-Fi router, it's a bundle of two wireless routers capable of forming a mesh network that promises total home coverage of 5,500 total square feet and maximum speeds of 5,400 megabits per second. So, Let's put this thing through its paces and see just how fast it really is. Now, one of the first things I liked about the Deco Wi-Fi 6E during setup is the simple design. It's a small white cylinder with very minimal branding, a black plastic top, and on the back, it has three gigabit ethernet ports and a power connector. It's a very simple and clean router, which is great because my router sits right in my entertainment center and it's front and center for everyone to see. So design is important. And this looks right at home in your home. Setup for the Deco Wi-Fi 6E was also very simple. You can use either router that comes in the box. Just take your existing ethernet cable and plug it directly into one of the ethernet slots on the Deco, or optionally, you can connect the Deco directly into your existing modem. After that, I scanned the QR code on the box, and this took me right into the app store to download the TP-Link Deco app. Then I was presented with a list of routers, and I selected my Deco XE75 model, and basically entered some information, chose my password, and I was set up fairly quickly and very painlessly. This app manages everything for the TP-Link Deco, so you can update your router, which, by the way, had an accurate timing countdown for when the update would actually finish rather than just some random progress bar, which as someone who sets up new tech quite often, I thought that was the most friendly interaction I've had with an update screen. That timer got it exactly right, and I wasn't wondering how long this process was going to take. After that, I started the process of collecting all of my devices to the new Wi-Fi network. And one cool security feature with the TP-Link Deco app that not only gives you an overview of every device currently connected to your home network, so not only do you get to see what devices are using the most bandwidth in your home, but you can also get notifications directly to your phone anytime a new device connects to your network. That's a great security feature that can give you more information about who and what is connecting to your home network and let you take appropriate action as soon as possible. But what about the speed? Well, I have two different devices to test here. One is my iPhone 13 Pro, which has regular Wi-Fi 6, which is most likely the type of Wi-Fi your devices support right now. Okay, and we are getting some really stable and fast speeds. We're getting around 500 to 600 megabits per second on the high end. Again, this is just Wi-Fi 6, which isn't using that dedicated six gigahertz band that Wi-Fi 6E has. So we should be able to squeeze out the last few megabits out of my gigabit connection if I have a Wi-Fi 6E device. Well, luckily I do. So this time I'm going to be using a Pixel 6 Pro, which does have Wi-Fi 6E and is able to connect to this dedicated spectrum of bandwidth. As you can see here in the settings, only devices with Wi-Fi 6E can see this portion of the network, meaning they not only get a speed boost, but will face less congestion. The best analogy I've seen to describe this is Wi-Fi 5 is a two-lane highway, Wi-Fi 6 opens up two more lanes, while Wi-Fi 6E opens up three more lanes, turning what was a congested four-way highway into a seven-lane speedway. And rerunning the same test on my Pixel 6 Pro, I am basically seeing almost my entire 
entire gigabit connection being used for this test, which granted, I should note, does have a maximum speed of 940 megabits per second. So my gigabit connection is 60 megabits per second shy of true gigabit speeds. But seriously, I have never seen a wireless device get this type of speed before, basically almost 930 megabits per second. Okay, well, you might be asking, what if I don't have Wi-Fi 6E devices? Why do I need to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6E router right now? Well, there are actually a few good reasons to do that now. First of all, most devices being released for this year will increasingly start to carry the Wi-Fi 6E standard. Buying Wi-Fi 6E over Wi-Fi 6 now will help future-proof your network for the faster speeds you will be able to achieve as you add more devices to your network. Furthermore, speed is only half the story, and as you can imagine, as someone who reviews a lot of different tech products, I am always connecting and keeping devices on my network, so network congestion for me has always been a problem with my existing Wi-Fi router. I've had to disable and re-enable Wi-Fi so many times on my devices just to get a stable connection to the internet, so the fact that my TP-Link Deco 6E is managing all of my devices effortlessly so far with no dropouts, letting me stream 4K content play games with low latency, and download and upload videos quickly on my usually congested network is great. Especially because it's a tri-band router, which uses up to three Wi-Fi frequency bands and will automatically connect any of your devices, usually to the fastest and least crowded network. And for total home coverage, even if you don't have Wi-Fi 6E devices yet, the TP-Link Deco can use that six gigahertz band as a dedicated connection point between both routers. So if you have a dead spot or an area where your wireless internet connection is slower, these two devices work together to make that connection solid. Now, even though this video is sponsored, what TP-Link has managed to do here with their TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi 6E is impressive. They are offering you one of the lowest cost mesh network routers available right now at $299, and it looks like an unbeatable value to get your home network upgraded to Wi-Fi 6E today for super fast and reliable wireless speeds at extended coverages. It has solved my home networking issues of spotty connections on a single router, and so far, I have not been experiencing random dropouts or congested throttling since using this device. The benefits of Wi-Fi 6E are clear, and if you're upgrading your home network, there's no reason to spend out money on already outdated Wi-Fi 6 routers, especially ones that aren't easy to set up, are hard to manage, and come with clunky designs. If you're interested in buying a TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi 6E, make sure you check out my link in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.